DJ Sly, D, DJ Sly, Tay, 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 DJ Sly, D, DJ. Hey man, we gotta get some love to our sponsors, Bel Air. Okay, okay. Head to your favorite liquor store, you know what I'm saying? Pick up your favorite bottle of Bel Air and uh, make yeah. sure you drink responsibly. Also, make sure you head over to the YouTube channel and follow it right now, DJ Slate Podcast Show on YouTube, because this interview will be posted on there at a later date. Click the notification button while you're over there so you'll be updated when we upload new content. Right now, we on with my dog, Sean. What up, boy? What's going on, man? Man, chilling, man. It, it, it's been a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute. Yeah. Man. But before, yeah, man. before we talk about today, man, I just want to, I always like to reflect back to when people was growing up and all that. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Um, go ahead and let everybody know where you're from, bro. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. And then, you know, I moved out to Marietta, Georgia. So, you know, representing Marietta, you know, the next city north of Atlanta. So, uh, you know, it, it north got, side. It got no, prissy it with it. North side, too. It ain't got prissy with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we out there in Marietta now. Yeah, man, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that's what that's where my family at, man. You know, I'm in Marietta. That's where a lot of my friends, you know, that's where I went to school at. So, yeah, you know, I got to represent Marietta, man. I represent Atlanta, but you know, I got to represent my hometown too, man. So, now you've so been doing, you've been doing music for a very long time, man. Yeah, tell, yeah. tell me about when you really fell in love with the craft of being an artist. Oh, man, it, it, it had to go back to when I was, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, ever since I was a kid, you know, my mom, she always was, you know, heavily, you know, with the music around the house and stuff like that. And she always, you know, influenced me to, you know, get into music and help me develop my interest in music. So, you know, probably when I was around about 11 years old, is when I started hanging out at, um, back then, I think it was like uh, Mars Music, you know what I'm saying? One of those stores that sold everything. Like, they sold everything, man. Keyboards, drum sets, uh, turntables, you know what I'm saying? So, my mom used to go to Sam's Club across the street, you know what I'm saying? So, she'd be in Sam's Club. I'd go over there and just hang out over there for a couple hours, you know what I'm saying? Just just run around the store, play play with drum machines, you know what I'm saying? Just, just play with everything. You know, the people know me. They were like, okay, there go that little kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he, ain't coming to, he ain't coming to buy nothing, but he, he coming to play with everything today. So, yeah, yeah you know, that's when, that's when I, you know, start, you know, my interest in music start picking up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what, what was some of the music that your mom was playing around the house? Oh man, well you know she had all the old school classes, but like when I when I was coming up, you know my mom she used to try to keep it clean, you know what I'm saying. So like the stuff that she put me on, like she would, you know I was like on stuff like like Usher, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Immature, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like the the younger generations and stuff like that. So you know I I, I didn't really get into like explicit music. Probably until I was like in middle school, but you feel me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know, mom, dude, she she into everything, man. You know how on the weekend she had a radio blast and she be cooking, cleaning, you know what I'm saying? So it's just it's old school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. man, you 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 from Atlanta, the, the mecca for music, man. How how is it, was it growing up and just being in a city that everybody wanted to be a part of and flood to. But not only that, having big time artists come from out of Atlanta. Man, it was cool. You know, when I was little, you know what I'm saying, back in the 90s, and uh, Atlanta had a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? We had the Freak Need. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like the music scene in Atlanta has always been a major influence, you know, before it really, really picked up in like the two thousands. But uh yeah, when I was young man, I used to go to concerts, you know what I'm saying? Like I remember going like TLC concerts, Bone Thugs and Harmony concerts. You know, everybody came to Atlanta and did a big show, so you know, I do all that, man. We had, to, you know, the freak name. My mom would take me right around, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, music <laughs> in Atlanta, man, it's dope, man. Man, you, it's, it seemed like you was doing big things as a teenager, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. You know, I just come from one of the type of families, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. So. So we're going to go ahead and speed up to today, man. Now, you, you back yeah. home, man. You, you left us for a little bit, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. But now now you back home, man. So let us know what, what you're trying to get out here and do, man. Well, man, you know, first off, man, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be home, man. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time, you know, like, in my situation before I got out, you know, I was like in a kind of like a transitional center. So I had a cell phone, you know what I'm saying? So I got to sit back and kind of just, you know, view the game from the outside looking in and uh, just kind of see, see, you know, see, see where it's at right now. So my thing is like right now, you know, I ain't, I'm not in too much of a rush to like release music. You know, I just started to get back in the studio, uh, but I've been getting a lot of love, man, you know, just like with you, you know what I'm saying? People reaching out, man, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just really appreciate it. I'm humbled by it. So I'm just taking my time, man. You know, I'm sitting down with a few people, and, you know, just just catching up, just seeing where the game at, you know, see, you know, seeing where my role in the game going to be, you know, because, yeah. I, you know, I done had a couple runs. So, you know, I don't want to make it one of those things where, you know, it's like you see artists who have – uh, a little success, and then, you know, something may happen, and they leave, and they come back, and it's like, you know, they kind of just on the, you know, they, they they just kind of just out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, they putting out music and stuff, so, like, right now, I'm just taking my time, man. I'm putting a plan together, and, uh, you know, here in the next month or so, you know, so I'm going to put out some music. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of guys out here in Marietta, um, they got some talent, man. It's a lot of producers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys I had worked with before I left, man. So, you know, I'm trying to get some things together with them, man, and really put a movement together out here. You know what I'm saying? And try to expose some of the talent out here from the north side, too, man. So that's my thing right now. Right now, I'm just, you know, sitting down with folks, man. We talking. We politicking, man. You know what I'm saying? We getting in the studio. But the main thing is, you know, when I do put some new music out here, in the next couple of months, man, I'm gonna make sure that it's quality, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. High quality music. It's gonna be some good music, and uh, it's gonna be dope, man. I got I got some good plans. Yeah, now I'm sure you got a lot to talk about, man. You you were able to sit back, like you said, and just watch the game. Um, yeah. I, I don't I don't know how much of it you were able to see, but you know, a lot of time has, has gone by. You know, we got yeah. social media here. And it's yeah. on a whole nother level now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, man. Like I went around today, man. Then I saw I seen uh, my boy Kenny Cole today. He said, "Tell you what's happening." And uh, I seen my boy Casper. He said, "Tell you what's happening." Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying. Then like I holly my boy Kid Shine, and you know we had the new Molly record. So right now I'm just trying to like trying to peep the transition from the way that we used to promote and push out music, you know, six, seven, eight, ten years ago, you know, it was different. Like, yeah. you know, we was really out there in the streets going to these markets, man, you know, with, with this merchandise, you know what I'm saying, really doing the leg work. So now, you know, the game, it's, it's a totally different game right now as far as, like, uh, everything through this social media and this streaming, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know, it's 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 not so much as it's, it's like you can become a star and not really have, you know, that authentic pure movement <laughs> that that we had back in the day. Cause like, you know, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, we get together, it'd be twenty, thirty of us, you know what I'm saying? We'll come to a city 
You know, we got the CDs, we got the T-shirts, we got the posters. You know what I'm saying? We supporting DJs. We coming by the radio station. We going by the clubs. We doing two, three clubs a night. So, you know, it's different now, man. Now you can just, you know, sit back in your living room or wherever the hell you at in your studio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can shoot your video or whatever. You do whatever. You know what I'm saying? You put your shit out. You, like, in one day, you can have that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. it's just different, man. So, that's, you know, that's why my focus is just, like, it's on the quality. You know what I'm saying? I I don't want to give my following or my fans, you know, half as product. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's all, man. How much How much writing have you done since you've been gone? Well, you know, I'm, I, I'm not really one of the people who put the pen to the pad. You know, that's not really my style of creating music. Because, you know, like, as far as I'm an artist, but I'm a producer as well. You know what I'm saying? I produce tracks, too. So I'm more so like a in the studio creating records type of person. But um like I said, with my situation before I, before I got out, I was at a spot where I had a phone. And you know, I started working on stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, trying to develop my flow pattern, you know, come up with my with with my new uh my cadence and stuff like that. So, you know, I've been working, man. And, you know, you always working. You know, you always thinking. You know, you sitting there, you know, anytime you're doing time or something like that, you always thinking, you know, like, okay, you know, how I'm going to come out, how I'm going to present myself, you know, how I'm going to reinvent myself. So, like I said, I always been thinking about those type of things, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you know, it's in the back of my mind. Yeah. You know, I got, I, got, I, got, I got a plan, so. Now we know one thing about it. When people go in and do time, they pick up different trades. Were you able to pick up any trades while you were in there? Uh, nah, man. I I wasn't in one of those type places, man. Where you know what I'm saying they were doing like trades and stuff like that, man. I kind of, you know, what I'm saying I, I I more so learned like like life lessons. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like you know sitting back and you know learning how to deal with people. That's the main. That's one of the main things that you learn when you're in one of those type of situations, man, when you're away from your family and stuff. And it's like, you know, you're around a lot of people that you don't know and you're forced to deal with these people. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you learn good people management. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be right next to a person and you don't like them, but, you know, you got to deal with them. You know what I'm saying? So to, to avoid jeopardizing your situations you can get back home to your family. You know, you had to learn how to deal with them type of people. You know what I'm saying? So that was one of the main things I took from it, man, is just like people, people management, man. Yeah. Man, it was it was, it was crazy because when you when you got out, man, you was turning up with your son, man. <laughs> yeah. And that's one of the most priceless things in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and man. Just being there with your child, man. And I know I know that was everything, man. And being yeah, able to man. come to the game, man, that's like, yeah. And he was on cloud a thousand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah. But not only, not only that, it, it make you feel good as a parent too because you missed out on so much while yeah, you were man. gone. Yeah, that's one of the main things, bro. Like he just brought me like an Oreo shake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This game and set it down. He just made it upstairs like an Oreo, made his own Oreo shake. So. That, that was one of my priorities, you know, getting home, kicking it, spending some time with my son, you know, just the, the more positive things, man. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. what life That's what life about, so. That's right. That's right. That's right. Who would yeah. you say was some of your musical influencers that, that you, you looked up to to make you want to do what you want to do in music? Oh, man. Oh. Uh, Going back, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would have to be like, um, you know, you got Cash Money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Manny Fresh. You know what I'm saying? No Limit Soldiers, No Limit Master P. Like, that was the first, like, one of the first tapes I had, rap, rap, rap tapes I had got was Silver Shocker. You know what I'm saying? Was when he was busting out the TV. But oh, you know, that was my whole that was my whole era era when I was a kid. You know, when I got into rap and you know, we was all trying to go to the mall and get the little 
the little No Limit Soldier piece. You, know how they had the, you remember they had the little chains? The no yeah, Limit yeah. Soldiers and the, and, the, uh, and the Cash Money pieces, you know what I'm saying? So Lil Wayne and all them, man. And then, uh, you know, as time went on, you know what I'm saying, like, like T.I. and uh, like Jazzy Faye on the production side. You know what I'm saying? All them guys, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, so since you back home, man, have you, <coughs> have you been able to sit down and make any beats? Actually, I haven't yet, but um, I've just been here a couple weeks now, man. I, so I've probably been to the studio like two or three times, man. Um, but I just worked out a situation with one of my, one of my people. So I got a studio to work out right now. And, uh, that's what I was just telling her earlier today. I was like, yeah, man, I, I got to get in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And well, go ahead and start cooking up. You feel me? So what was you cooking up on before you left? What, what equipment? <laughs> were you I, I, I had got into the Fruity Loops, man. Um. I started using the Fruity Loops, but before it was Fruity Loops, like the the, uh, the pneumonia single that I did with Kia Shine that we had, that was the uh, that was the one on six apart new joint of the day. I did the beat on that. Like when I was doing those beats, man, I was still on the MPC and the, and like the motif, you know what I'm saying. So I was like an analog producer, hardware producer, but you know as time went on and like more cats started going to the Fruity Loops and I started checking them out. And I seen how it, how easy it was that you can like put your beats together. I, I switched up to the Fruit Loops too. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. You know, NPC uh, came along. Yeah, yeah, NPC that got... made a comeback. I was seeing that. I seen a few people on the IG, man. They be uh, using the NPC. They got a new one. I seen. Uh, I think I seen Zaytoven. He was on live one day. He was making a beat. He was using the NPC, and I seen uh, my other partner, Scorp. You know what I'm saying? I seen Scorp using the NPC. So, yeah, yeah, I got to look into it, man. Yeah, yeah. I definitely yeah. got to look into it. Because, you yeah. know, it's just like a, it's a different sound, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know NPC kind of went digital, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, they kind of digital the way that they do things. But the sound is just different. Like, you know, like back when Shawty Red, you know, he was driving his beats. It was like, you can always hear the difference in them beats that was yeah. made with those MPCs versus these new, you know what I'm saying, the, the Fruity Loop sound, so. Yeah, the MP definitely got that distinctive sound. You, you, yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's a more raw, it's, it's a raw sound, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, so man, when you think, when you get ready to get back in the studio, man, do you think you are, your craft is still there to be able to pick up where you left off, man? Or you, do you think you're going to have to tighten up and, and learn a couple things? And continue? Oh, no, nah, man. It's like riding a bike. You know what I'm saying? You never forget that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're talented and you know how to get in the studio and make music, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, honestly, I feel like it's only going to get better. You know what I'm saying? It's only going to get bigger and better. And, you know, with my perspective on the music industry and the game right now, and just knowing what I'm trying to put out there for the fans and the followers, it's only going to get better, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you know, back then, a lot of music you was making, it's like, you know, you, you're trying to fit into a, a certain crowd, you know, trying to make your music for a certain crowd, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's like, you know, like now it's like, I, you know, I, I'm kind of past that as an artist. Like, now I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I put out my music this time, it, it's it's going to be 100% just me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not trying to make a certain street trap anthem. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what I'm – like, I'm going to go in the studio, man. I'm going to put whatever is on my mind and is on my heart on that music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at, and at the end of the day, like, the hits, they'll come. You know, I got, I got, like I said, I got a lot of talented people that I'm getting ready to work with, man, producers and writers. And so, you know, I know that we're going to come up with some dope music. Yeah. Now, do you plan on doing the merch again, man? You you plan on coming with some merch? What what, what you going to be doing? Yeah, most merch? definitely, man. That, that's part of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, you know, you really, that's part of what's going on right now. So, you know, 
I'm definitely coming with the merch, man. You know what I'm saying? I got some got some more of my homies with the Rich Squad. They got some stuff going on right now with the merch, with the Dirty Scale clothing line and stuff. Yeah, I seen so, you with that on. Hey, bro, when I when I see you post the picture, that I said the first thing that came to my mind, I said, "God damn, boy, that boy Sean that came out, he didn't got in the merch game all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, that's 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 like that's what I was saying, man. Like, like I said, man, it ain't all about me no more, man. You feel me? Like yeah. throughout my whole career with this music, man, there's a lot of people that I ran into. There's a lot of friends that I made. There's a lot of people that I call family, man. There's a lot of people that's in the rich squad. So you know, while I've been gone, a lot of people got a lot of their own things going on. So now that I'm back, you know, I can help bring in them resources and maybe help take their stuff to the next level, man. So. Like you know, it ain't all about me, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring a movement together, man. Uplift my people, man. You know what I'm saying? Uplift my team, uplift my family, my friends, man. I'm trying to get everybody to the paper. Now you say you you got some artists that you working with, man. Who should we be on the lookout for that you you say that you working with? Yeah, uh, it's a, it's a few guys out here in Marietta, man. Like. Uh, you know, it's cats out here. My partner B.A. from Marietta, man. Uh, my partner Young Blifford, uh, Mexico. My partner Mucho De Niro. And then, like I said, um, you know, my partner Mucho, man, he, he, he just turned me on to a whole bunch of guys that's from my city that's doing music. And uh, I can't quote their names right off the back of my head because we had one sit down and he showed me a lot of videos and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's a lot of guys that he showed me and and that their music is dope and that I'm interested in working with. So, you know, I'm going to reach out to him, man, and uh, try to uh, get some things going with him. Yeah. Can, yeah. can we expect movies from Sean? <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. That's how I was just talking to uh, somebody about the day, man. So I'm, I'm finna get into everything, man, because, like, Somebody was telling me, it's like, man, your story, bro. They were like, man, you know, you really got to tell your story. And I was like, yeah, you know, that's cool. I was like, you know, I definitely want to tell my story. But at the same time, I was telling him, I don't want my story to be the forefront of what I'm pushing because I feel like the game is so saturated with guys trying to push that same storyline. Where they saying, like, oh, I've been to jail, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the streets, I did this, I did time, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to use that for their credibility. And, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to come out with that in the forefront for people to be like, okay, well, that's why we know him, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we heard, you know, he got locked up with the cartel or some shit, you know what I'm saying? He this big dude, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make that the forefront of what I'm pushing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want people to come back, you know what I'm saying? I want people to recognize me as a businessman. As an artist, you know what I'm saying? As a producer, as a mogul, man. And then they could come back and then I, you know what I'm saying, give them the storyline. They'd be like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Dude made it about his situation. You know what I'm saying? Like he been through a lot. And then they can get the storyline, man. But, you know, I just don't want that to define me. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. I don't want my negative situations that I've been through to define me as a person. So, you know, in the end, I'm gonna bring that back, you know. Yeah. But you know, we might and we might visualize some of it, man. You know what I'm saying? Put it, you know, put it into a series or a show. You know what I'm saying? So like, like I said, man. Right now, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy I'm back, man. I'm <laughs> humble, you know. People showing me the love, man. I'm, you know, I'm linking up with a lot of people that I hadn't talked to in a while, and uh, we working on things, man. So. It ain't no telling what's to come, but you know I'm gonna have my hands and everything. Yeah, boy, sure, hey, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm excited, man. I gotta, I gotta send you some things. I'm gotta, you gotta. Yeah, uh, man. When we get off, you gotta text me your email, man. It's like a little yeah. Different things, I'm definitely man. gonna send it over, man. Like I told you, I seen a couple people today. They were like, "Yeah, tell them I said what's up, bro." You know. Yeah, so, uh, I, I can tell you ready to work, man, so it's good. Yeah, man, I'm moving around, man. I'm moving around, so. Man, and we got to be with like-minded people. Now, uh, also, man, like I said, a lot, a lot has changed since you've been gone, man. You know, now we, we got a new space in the world, man. We we got this crypto, crypto yeah. world and cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and all. Yeah. Um, that's, that's can you plan to go ahead and dibble? 
dibble and dabble into some of that in the stocks because like stocks is getting more popular now. You know, it's crazy. I had I had started messing with it, man, a couple months ago. And I had put some bread in. I was like, well, let me see what's going on with this crypto thing. <clears throat> I just put a couple thousand in, you know, to play around with and stuff. So, and, like, it shot up real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, it shot up. Boom. I was like, I'm like, hell yeah. I said, shit, I'm making some money. You feel me? Yeah. So I was like, you know, I was taking little profits off and putting them in different coins. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I like another coin came through. So I tried that when I throw some in that coin. And then all of a sudden, one day, man, <laughs> everything just went crazy. Like, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the hell happened. I was watching that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit was going lower and lower. And I was like, well, damn. I was like, shit. I was like, I don't know, man. I was like, I, I don't want to pull my money out. Of you know what I'm saying? I don't want to lose all this profit. I'm like, it's probably going to shoot back up in a day or so. You know what I'm saying? Like, and man, the next day came and got worse, man. I was like, what the fuck is going on, man? I was like, this shit get crazy. And you know what I'm saying? So then I'm like, man, let me cash out some of this shit, man, before I lose all my money. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> it was trying to charge these crazy-ass fees to cash it out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, man. So I'm like, well, let me leave it in and see if it go back up. Man, that shit was crazy, man. I ended up losing like a few hundred dollars or whatever. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? I I hadn't I hadn't did no research on it. I was just messing around with this app on the phone. But I've been learning, you know what I'm saying? More like when one of one of me and my partners we talk almost every day about it. You know, he be putting coins in and leveraging coins. So you know, I'm getting more information on it, man. So. I see where the yeah. money can be made. You know, it's just this is one of them things, man. You gotta have time. Gotta you know have what I'm saying? You gotta have some time dedicated and devoted to that crypto, man. If you you, you can make some money off of it, but you know you gotta do your research and you gotta have a little time, man, to sit back and watch it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because if you don't watch it, man, you know what I'm saying, you'll you'll turn around and your money will be gone. It'll be gone. But yeah. but look at it like this, bro. Once you learn the strategies, it's yeah, yeah, happen. yeah. Hey, yeah. it's, it's, it's a wrap. It's over, man. Yeah, like, you know, you might stake your stake your money in and go, you know, you know, you put your money in and you just want to lay on it for a couple years and hope one of them coins blow up. That's cool. Yeah. If you got the extra yeah. money to put to the side and throw it into the crypto, man, and you want to lay on some shit and see if it blow up, you, you know, you can become a millionaire overnight, so you never know. Yeah. Now, man, you've been an entrepreneur for a very long time. Even before you were you left, you was into the entrepreneurship. Yeah. What, what do you think about the entrepreneurship today since you've been back home? Oh, man, it's great, man. It's it's wide open, man. There's so much legitimate money to be made out here, you know what I'm saying, especially with the advances in the technology and the social media, man, and, like, as far as, like, the, the, the wholesalers. and <clears throat> It's great, man. It's, it's a lot of avenues, man. Like, it's just social media really opened it up for people, man. It's, like, for people to get different types of trades. You know what I'm saying? You got girls doing lashes, girls doing eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? They're doing the body things. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it's great, man. You know, a lot of people got their they, they different merches they coming up with, their clothing lines, their brands. And I think it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's easier to get to the consumer. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's easier to get to the consumer, man. So, you know, like, you do a little research, you figure it out, man. You come up with something, and you figure out how to get to your audience, man. You figure out how to turn some of this social media and monetize some of it, man, turn into some money, man. That's why I, I said I think it's great, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything can happen, man. You you could be sitting around, man. You come up with a great idea, and, you know, you just put a little effort behind it, man. You never know the next day you could be up. You know, you could be up off of it, man, so. It's dope. Big, big facts. Big facts. Big yeah. facts. No doubt, man. Hey, bro, we definitely appreciate you getting on with us yeah. in 2021. Sure, man. So we had to get you on and welcome Yeah, you man, I, I appreciate you more, man. You know what I'm saying? Like like I told you, man, I'm, I'm glad to be home, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I just I appreciate all the love, man. And, you know, the people reaching out, I appreciate y'all reaching out. Shout out to my boy Yogi, man. Shout out to my cousin, Shad. I see you on there. Amigo, what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? I just appreciate all the love, man. You know, like, you, you, you leave and you come back and you always wonder, you know, you wonder if the people still going to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm just happy and humble by the situation. You know, people still fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? People still, you know what I'm saying, opening up their arms to me, trying to give me opportunities, you know, to do something with this music, man, and push forward. So, like yeah. I said, I appreciate you too, bro. Hey, bro, I'm here, man. Shit, I want to I wanna collab with you on some beats. <laughs> let's yeah. Play. Hey, hey let's, oh, let's, now, let's do it, oh, man. Now, like I said, work, man, it's, it's a... It's a collective, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't selfish, but it ain't about me. It ain't all about me, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to win. You know, I'm trying to win. And the people that I fuck with, we trying to win, man. So, you know, we can win together. I'm all for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go ahead and throw out all your social media sites so everybody can follow you, man. Yeah, man. Right now, man, I just got the Instagram, man. Y'all tune in. RSMG Sean, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything else that's coming, it will be on that Instagram page. You know, we got the, uh, I got my uh, coming home, welcome home celebration pool party this Saturday. You know, we got the after party at Tiger Tiger, man, with Smurf World, my boy Drew Smith doing the pool party, man. They showed me some extra love. So I'm going to do that, man. We're going we're gonna to flick it up. We're going to shoot, you know what I'm saying? Get us a cameraman out there, man, and we're going to put it on that Instagram, man. So we're going to go from there. I can't yeah. wait to see that, man. But I, yeah. I'm going to hit you up. Uh, I'll be in Atlanta uh, next month, birthday bash weekend. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, I'll reach out to you when I touch down out that way. Yeah, hit me, man. I appreciate it, bro. It's all love, bro. Man, you already know what it is. Once again, man, we wish you mad success in all your endeavors and everything that you're about to get into out here. And uh, once again, welcome home, and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to get on with us this evening, brother, my man. For sure, man. For sure. Right. Rich Squad. <laughs> Rich Squad, let go, man. Go DJ ahead. Sly. D DJ Sly. Hey. DJ Sly. D DJ Sly.